right. Well, alrighty then. How is everybody doing out there? How are all the star seeds and the children of light? I hope everybody is doing great. Um, so I wanted to come on and um, do the zodiac sign reading for the month of June. I can't believe we're in June. I'm like dying right now. I'm like it's like ninety degrees out. I'm like sweating in this tiny room that I'm in because there's no air conditioning. The air conditioning is out there. So, yeah. And um, like I noticed when I put on the air conditioning, I start because I guess I'm clear audio, whatever you call it. So like I start hearing music. And it's kind of a little annoying, too. Uh, when that happens but I start it sounds like a radio in my ear I mean sometimes it actually is nice because it kind of sounds like classical music or like opera so I guess maybe I'm like tuning into the like the angelic realm but then sometimes it just sounds like a radio and I can't really like make out what's being said anyway so <laughs> All right, so for the month of June, this is what I got as far as the energy. I got reorganization, um, mental energy, like more of an abundance of mental energy, more of like staying in the moment and not being stuck. So the energy is like flowing. Um, but then there's also like this sense of pause, like just kind of um, a mild, slight pause. Um, and also it's finishing up to start a new cycle in July. Okay, so let's start here with, with Aries. And oh, you know something? I want to... Let me see if I can share my screen here. Yeah. Share. Okay. Cool beans. All right. So we have Aries, which is the Hierophant. So this card rules institutions such as marriage, hospitals, corporations, religion, traditional beliefs. Um, so even like philosophies, you may be considering marriage or even pondering the thought of marriage and just like wondering if it's necessary in your current situation. You have changed and evolved and what you valued earlier in life is not the same as what you value currently you may be questioning yourself and what you want out of life as far as a union moving um, and moving forward and what that would look like in the future your your family's expectation may differ from your own if you are currently in a relationship you may be questioning the foundation of it and wondering if your partner is still in alignment with you the theme this month is where do you fit in with traditional like the traditional belief system okay and now moving into taurus we have the chariot um also another major arcana just like the higher font so these are like major moves in your life. When you have um, the, you know, major arcana cards, these are like major changes coming up. So the theme is moving forward, um, moving onward and forward. This month, you may end up moving forward and away from someone else. The person in your life does not want to make changes and you may be forced to make them on your own. Taurus is a stubborn sign and you may be dealing with karma from the past. So basically the shoe is on the other foot. Like you may have been stubborn 
in the past. So now someone's being stubborn with you. Um, you are ready to take action and take the bull by its horns. Uh, you have been patient enough. You will courageously move on into the future and start a new chapter in your life this summer. You have had enough of someone else's negative energy. Okay, moving on to Gemini. Three of Cups. So this is joy, celebration, emotional fulfillment, success, new friendship. Um, yeah, that's right here. Um, and alliances. The focus is on enjoyment this month. If you are single, someone will be noticing you uh possibly someone who's a fire sign personality that may not necessarily be a fire sign um but you know it's basically somebody who's like has an enthusiasm for life you will meet someone through a friend it will come naturally you have um let go of a lot of anger and resentment and you are ready to mingle all right you know get ready to mingle on the beach <laughs> I wish I was like I could see that breeze like I'm just imagining that breeze that's like behind me <laughs> maybe I'll manifest that okay so next is cancer and we have the eight of swords so eight of swords there is a rearrangement of the subconscious that will pave the way for enhanced psychic abilities. You will feel more of a connection with the subconscious mind and be able to see what others cannot. This can be positive or negative, be a positive thing or a negative thing, depending on where you are. Um, as far as where you are, not so much the location, but you know, whether it is a burden or a blessing, it depends on how you see things. Um, so how it is used, and again, at what stage you are at spiritual evolution, like it all depends, you know. On the negative side, this can indicate mental restrictions that we put on ourselves, but we can easily take off the blindfold. Yep, we have the power. Okay, and then we have for Leo. King of Cups. I always notice that when I do Leo, Leo always like the the card is always like this strong, like sort of kind of like dominant like card, like, you know, he's in control, he or she's in control. So we have healing this month, replenishment of energy, self-care, recuperation, um, going as far as you can, exhaustion, and then a cycle of physical, emotional rejuvenation. So take in the sun, get close to water, and nurture yourself. When you heal yourself, it will affect everyone around you, and things will fall into alignment. All right. Next, we have Two of Swords, which is Virgo. Um, there is somebody that, there is someone that is telling you that, or I'm sorry, let me repeat this. There is something that someone is telling you that does not add up. You want to believe them, but your instinct is telling you not to. So listen to your inner knowing, take a step back and do not second guess yourself. There is a fear within of what you may find out. So do not fear the outcome will be fine, but you may need to make some changes or make some painful decisions or painful changes in your life. Take a step back and more information will come into light. Okay. And now we're moving on to Libra with the lovers. 
again, another major arcana card. So you are feeling a push to make a change in your life, in your current relationship, or if you're single, you may come into a new relationship. There is a balance of feminine and masculine. Your significant other is helping you make needed changes in your life. They are there to support you. You may be having a rough time with work-related issues. Work-life balance will be a topic this month. Um, deals and compromises will be made this month. Okay. And then moving on to Scorpio. Another major arcana card. It seems like there are a lot of major changes this month. All right. So the sun is... Um, this represents issues with children will be overcome. Much will be overcome this month. Optimism and joy for the future. Better health. Also a feeling of security. Moving in the right direction. Uh, things will suddenly align. It seems as though things in the last few months have come to stop to a stop or have been moving quite slowly. So they will speed up this month. You will feel a sigh of relief. And no more worry. Next, we have Sagittarius. Ten of Swords. Um, which is, this is the surrender card and release of certain emotions. This will be liberating for you. It marks the ending of emotional pain. This marks a new chapter in your life and spiritually evolving to the next level. You have done spiritual work for the past generations and have freed ancestral emotional trauma from past generations. This marks the end of a cycle and July will be the beginning of a new cycle. So now we have five of wands for Capricorn. There is a sense of chaos and a sense of being pulled in all directions. Inner and outer conflicts. All outward conflicts stem from the inner state of ourselves. This is a great opportunity for you to grow. The universe is saying that the inner and outer must be rearranged in order to align with the higher frequencies. You are being challenged in order to grow. You must overcome in order to learn the lessons. Okay, moving on to Aquarius, which is king. Whoops. King of Wands. This month, the focus is on showing off your talents, doing things you are passionate about, and you feel like you are in control of your own life. Being creative, you are feeling like yourself. You will attract the attention of others. You may even attract a love interest if you're single. You feel inspired and energized this month. And the last one is for Pisces, Four of Cups. You seem frustrated with someone's actions and need to make decisions regarding this. You feel as though you are at your breaking point. You may be bound by a promise to a third party. This poses a conflict in your life. The focus is on structure, emotional vulnerability, and stability. This may indicate someone from the past, such as a past lover, coming back. The universe says proceed with caution. Okay. Well, that concludes my Zodiac sign reading for the month of June. I really hope you have a great month. Um, please subscribe, like, and share and comment if you would like. Also, you can check out my um, website. I do offer personal readings. If you're interested, um, send me an email and let me know you want one. All right. Well, Thank you so much.